chair lays before the House a message. The chair lays before the House a message. To the Congress of the United States, pursuant to the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, 50 U.S.C. 1701, IEEPA, I hereby report that I have issued an executive order, the order that takes additional steps with respect to the national emergency declared in Executive Order 12957 of March 15, 1995. In Executive Order 12957, the President found that the actions and policies of the government of Iran threatened the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States. To deal with that threat, the President in Executive Order 12957 declared a national emergency and imposed prohibitions on certain transactions with respect to the development of Iranian petroleum resources. To further respond to that threat, Executive Order 12959 of May 6, 1995 imposed comprehensive trade and financial sanctions on Iran. Executive Order 13059 of August 19, 1997 consolidated and clarified the previous orders. To take additional steps with respect to the national emergency declared in Executive Order 12957 and to implement Sections 105A of the Comprehensive Iran Sanctions Accountability and Divestment Act of 2010, Public Law 111-195, 22 U.S.C. 8501, CIS ADA, I issued Executive Order 13553 on September 28, 2010 to impose sanctions on officials of the government of Iran and other persons acting on behalf of the government of Iran determined to be responsible for or complicit in the certain serious human rights abuses. To take further additional steps with respect to the threat posed by Iran and to provide implementing authority to a number of the sanctions set forth in the Iran Sanctions Act of 1996, Public Law 104-172, 50 U.S.C. 1701 Note, ISA, as amended by CIS ADA, I issued Executive Order 13574 on May 23, 2011, to authorize the Secretary of the Treasury to implement certain sanctions imposed by the Secretary of the State pursuant to ISA, as amended by CIS ADA. Finally, to take additional steps with respect to the threat posed by Iran, I issued Executive Order 13590 on November 20, 2011, to authorize the Secretary of the State to impose sanctions on persons providing certain goods, services, technology, information, or support that contribute either to Iran's development of petroleum resources or to Iran's production of petrochemicals, and to authorize the Secretary of the Treasury to implement some of those sanctions. I have determined that additional sanctions are warranted, particularly in light of the deceptive practices of the Central Bank of Iran and other Iranian banks to conceal transactions of sanctioned parties, the deficiencies in Iran's anti-money laundering regime, and the weakness in its implementation and continuing an unacceptable risk posed to the international financial system by Iran's activities. The prohibitions of the order do not apply to property and interest in property of the government of Iran that were blocked pursuant to Executive Order 12170 of November 14, 1979, and thereafter made subject to the transfer of directness set forth in Executive Order 12281 of January 19, 1981, and implementing regulations thereunder. In addition, nothing in the order prohibits transactions for the conduct of the official business of the federal government by employees, grantees, or contractors thereof. I have delegated to the Secretary of the Treasury the authority, in consultation with the Secretary of State, to take such actions, including the promulgation of rules and regulations, and to employ all powers granted to the President by IEEPA as may be necessary to carry out the blocking regulated purposes of the order. All agencies of the United States government are directed to take all appropriate measures within their authority to carry out the provisions of the order. I have also delegated certain functions and authorities conferred by Section 1245 of the NDAA to the Secretary of the Treasury and the Secretary of State in consultation with other appropriate agencies as specified in the order. 
I am enclosing a copy of executive order I have issued, signed Barack Obama, the White House, February 5th, 2012. Referred to the Committee on Foreign Affairs and ordered printed. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the Chair declares the House in recess until approximately 4.30 p.m. today.